Okay, so we're going to do a little review of uh, NURBS Curves and uh, kind of see what other options we have with the AI Curve Render. So to start here, let's go back to the front. And I'll start drawing. Create Curve. See the Curve Tool option. Really, there's just two you need to worry about. Uh, one, which is straight lines. Two, which is curvy lines. Um, so let's let's do that. Um, let's make an ampersand. So. This. And so what I'm doing is I'm creating a point at the apex of this, the curve <laughs> and then one intermediary point to control like how you get from one apex to another. All right. Uh, so, you know, we can spiffy this up a little. And anytime you want to have a straight line, that is three points in a line with each other will create a, a straight line. Um, so yeah, like for example, if I grab these, scale them, there's like a little straight bit. Um, but that's not what I'm looking for here. All right, so let's see. What else could we do? Um, you know, I'm just using this to help dial in this apex. <coughs> and so on and so forth. Now, we can subtract points just by selecting them and deleting them. We can also add points by right clicking on our curve, going to curve point, you know, insert, putting where we want to put it, right? And then right click, insert not. And what that'll do is that'll add another CV, um, but keep the underlying curve. Now, sometimes, um, let's see, let me just add, let's just add a point, a curve point. Insert not, vertex. As you're working, sometimes this curve, well, okay, if you hit one, it's kind of rougher display. If you hit three, it's a smoother display. Sometimes when you're working though, and you're adding and deleting points, the way the curve behaves becomes a little bit unpredictable. Uh, so occasionally it can be a good idea to select your curve, um, go here, curves, rebuild. And what this is going to do is it's, it's up to you what you want it to do, actually. But what I'm going to use it for is I'm going to set it to uniform. I'm going to change the parameter range. Think of this as like the, the, the UV of the curve, the, the mapping the curve to two-dimensional space. And we'll see how we can use that to, to drive color or, or width in a second. We're going to keep all the points, right? We're going to keep it cubic. We're just going to have it reconstruct it. And what that does is sometimes that can kind of fix any little weird little chinks or errors that come up from time to time. 